So you took a cruise and it's a four day. And you don't know what to do so far. Either you want to stay on your four or you want to take excursion, right? We decided to take excursion, but in a special way. And we're going to show you all the details in case you want to do the same. Okay guys, so we decided uh, in Roatan to take an excursion with shore excursions because they have, uh, in my opinion, the better options of excursions which allow you more to do in the same time. Our plan, baby, is to hug a slot, go to some beaches and explore this island. Yes, guys, when you go to a show, to excursion, you know, there's different. I mean, if you get to the port, there's going to be people that are going to offer you excursion from the local place, the cruise line that you're traveling with as well. There's some other places online. We are trying for the first time to excursions and we want to see what it's about, right? Definitely. So they guys. have something very special for us prepared right here in Roatan, Honduras. We're going to walk with you so you can see the experience the same way we do. We're going to see if it's worth it or not and we're going to let you our honest opinion. Right? Definitely, guys. And tomorrow we will record another video in Costa Maya, we also have excursions with uh, short excursions. Yeah, so if you want to see this video, subscribe and uh, watch an hour. Yeah, we got, we got a few very special excursions set up already, guys, with them. Yesterday we've been in Consumel, Mexico, and we didn't took an excursion. We just rented a car. And if you want to see this option uh, as well, it's this video available on our YouTube channel. We don't know Consumel. We didn't book a excursion, we rented a car, and we're gonna go out there to try to discover everything on our own. That way, if they don't wanna take a excursion, baby, uh -huh. you see ours, and if you like our excursion, you can take that one as well. Definitely. And we just did a quick stop right here uh -huh. uh, in the middle of the road just because it's so beautiful and that's one of the things that you can do when you come in by yourself you definitely know? if you're in the yeah. car you have freedom of doing anything you like yeah. we've been it's just driving by and we saw the place where we can stop and just enjoy this beautiful views of the nature it's crazy yeah, i love that when you go to excursion if you don't like the place you have to wait until they're done right but if you like it too much you can you you gotta leave whenever yeah. you don't want to leave yeah so since we rented a car we're just doing our own thing and we decided to enjoy this beautiful view. Enjoy, guys. I would definitely recommend, honestly, in Consumel, I would myself not prefer to like, like to take any any excursion. I think the best thing to do is definitely rent a car and go explore. And go around, because that way, if you can, if you want to discover, you just discover, and then if you want to spend the time in one specific, a specific place, you can also yeah. do that, guys. You have this freedom. So yesterday, we didn't book anything. We just did our own thing, and it was great. It was amazing. We had a great time. This is start today and tomorrow we continue with the discussion guys it's gonna be a fun time regardless we're gonna make it happen for you definitely guys stay tuned okay guys we found uh, our where? ride yeah, yeah with a short excursion it's our contact person uh, you know it was a little complicated to get out because it's a lot of vendors and everything uh, yeah because we didn't read the instruction right first time but when we read it again we realized where we need to do where we need to go there's just so many uh, different people pro uh, promoting vendors the, and yeah. things like that yeah they promoting their excursions but we found ours and we're going right now with lots of people with the car and yeah, we're gonna stop our journey. Because again, like we told you, you know, there's different type of way to do excursion. There's people that are gonna be locals offering offering you their own excursion. Yeah, and there is definitely yeah. a lot of people who's offering you their excursion. Yep. And if you give them your paper, like to show like what you're looking for, them probably will tell us that they them because you know they. Just don't give no, don't show nobody your papers. At least we know that now from uh, the instruction they gave us paper-wise, they were correct. Once we knew exactly the mistake that we was making and we followed the right way, we was able to find them and not just that, they also have our name registered. We didn't tell them yeah. our names. They already had them. And that's, that gives you kind of security that you are in the right place that you already booked with, okay? Definitely, guys. Stay tuned, guys. We got a driver right now. We're going to show you how's it going to be. There are different languages, los garifunas, and there are others that are misquitos. It's a language like Spanish. 
Yeah, guys, so we're already in place. Where are we gonna hug Tesla? Yes, guys, this is a place that is to the west of the island, as we was uh, being told by mm -hmm. our driver. In this case, we're already here. This is a very a small but very nice place. We can see some of the culture. We're gonna see some animals as well, guys. This is gonna get very interesting. Interesting, guys, but make sure you don't bring a big bag or you're gonna leave it in the car because you cannot have a big bag. So you just like something small. Yeah, they have a few, a few uh, rules. This is the first stop that we did in our excursion is to come to this place to get encounter with some of the the animals and things like that but also yeah like you said there's few rules you don't bring water bottles you don't bring big bags or sunglasses all of that keep it in mind say hello to la niña Dile, say hola Hola. No, you don't need a shampoo. Hola. <laughs> no, that shampoo is for him and I. Yeah. Sure. Let me It's crazy, guys. They are very, very. I would say, how is the word? Nyo Nyo word? Nyo Nyo. They feel very good. But they just, they just love to be. Yeah, they're so little. Oh, they're so little, so, so cute. Chilly. So cute, so chilly. Oh, they only poop once a week. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Look, 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 look. There you go. Super curious. You should be curious. What is that? She's like, you're super cute. I want that. Maybe we want to try it. It's, 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 it's sorry. He's jumping. Come right here, my love. We just been hugging lots of pet and monkey. I'm so excited. It's so nice experience. You're learning so much, but you actually interacting with animals yeah. and learning about Honduras, uh, Roatan. It's so nice. Like I'm so excited. It's I'm so nice. Love this this is the Manawaki Park, guys, and this is one of the tours that we got today. It was so amazing just to come over here, get a touch of the nature, you know, and uh, these animals. They all have been so nice. It's Definitely. funny. We didn't know what to expect with the monkeys because you know they have to pick on you and take things away and things like that they were so nice the sloth and everything the national birth right here in, our, in honduras this place is very very cultural it's very nice guys definitely sure. guys i'm in love and ready to show you more yeah remember if you come to honduras and you want to book one of these excursions you can do that on your own you can do it with a cruise ship we do one of which excursion we're trying to you know to see what is the experience on that end and it's been so nice but if you come with honduras however way you want to make it make sure that you visit this place and have an encounter interaction with this animal. Definitely, guys. That's an unforgettable experience. It's going to be something completely different. Okay, guys, it's on water time, right, baby? Ooh, it's water time. It's water time, guys. This is Roatan, Honduras. Just look at this beautiful nest. Look at this beautiful nest, you guys. The sun is a very pretty weather today we did a little bit of everything on this island and now it's time to do some water guys right look at that look at the water the water is so pretty so nice so perfect and you see baby right there swimming right our little fish going and swim our little fish going and swim right there guys welcome to Roatan, honduras guys for sure Guys, this is so nice. We are enjoying, 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 right, baby? Definitely, guys. I love it, especially my bread. Oh my god, this, yeah, this weather is so good. I left my glasses in the bag, so if you don't see my eyes, it's because the sun is hitting right in front of me. <laughs> but guys, this is so nice. The water feels so perfect. You can do a little bit of everything in Rotan and also have this beautiful view this beautiful bay right here definitely. and come to the beach and just have a great time like this right definitely guys i'm enjoying the first taking you the water feels so good i don't want to get out yeah it feels great and the funny thing is that you know we're almost about to go guys and uh well hopefully uh we can come back again because it's been nice and we can enjoy a little bit more of the water itself of this beautiful magical place guys we love you come to zarata
Okay, guys, we in Costa Maya and we're ready for some excursions. Yes, guys, it's day two of our excursion. Remember, in this video, we're showing you everything that we do when we book excursion. We already did one day yesterday in Honduras, Roatan. Today, Mexico, uh, Costa Maya. So we got a full a day full of adventure and emotion, guys. Today, you're going to see with us uh, Maya ruins, lagoon, and much more. Yeah, they have like a seven colors lagoon. That's how they call it, which is very beautiful over there. So part of our excursion that we book uh, is going to the pyramids first, right, baby? Yes, it's kind of a long drive. That's why yep. the instructions say you need to be meet with them one hour after uh, the ship arrived to the island, yep. to the port. We are a little bit late, probably. We're walking into the port at the moment. Mm -hmm. Then we're supposed to meet our local guy, the same way we did in Rotan. And uh, from there we start our adventure, guys. Definitely, guys. But yep. you can see the weather is maybe not so perfect. It looks sunny there, but if you look towards the island, it's like looks like it will rain. Honestly. Yeah, we might be getting some rain today for sure, guys. Definitely. Uh, but remember, guys, uh, whenever you book an excursion, whenever we book an excursion with shore excursions, uh, the description was saying that how you better need to dress for a type of excursion and mm -hmm. how hard is that, you know, guys. So. Definitely the good way is to wear sneakers when you're going to ruins. Maybe take a jacket from the sand so you don't burn. And I don't know, they've been saying something about like long pants because of the insects. Yeah, I mean yeah. the insects itself because you're going to be in the middle of the jungle. So, no, you don't. no thank you. Uh, yeah, because you're gonna be you're gonna be in the jungle and everything, uh -huh. so they just want to make sure that you are as covered as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, all of those recommendations are coming from the from the short excursion side, pretty much. Yes, guys. So we're gonna explore everything and definitely share with you. Yes, stay guys. Tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So in order to find the short excursions, we need to exit from the terminal from the port. And yeah. uh, we will look for them somewhere there. That's usually how it works with them. Yeah, the, good, doing the, the good thing, thing yesterday. Yeah, and the good thing is that you have all the instructions here, or if not, you can keep it on your phone, depending on if you have your internet working fine. We already got in the phone with our contact, you know, they're waiting for us, that's fine. So all we need to do is just find the exit and go through the parking lot, and they're gonna be waiting there for us. So everything so far has been very well explained so Definitely. far. Definitely. So, but why it smells so good, my goodness? <laughs> oh my goodness, you're in Mexico, you know. There's no playing over here. So we exit in the port and we're going to the pyramid uh, where we will find our short excursions. Actually, people here are very nice. <clears throat> they know attacking you with excursions. All they're asking and they're actually helping you to find your excursion with you, which one yeah. you booked with. Uh -huh. Everything seems very organized. That's one thing that I like in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we have short excursions already booked, but it feels like inside the port terminal, everything is like very, very organized. You know, I can see even the locals and everything, the taxis, yeah. they lined up. You don't feel like everybody just on top of you like that. So I think they're doing a great job right here in Costa Maya. Oh, yeah, right? for sure. And I like the port, I like the island, I like the far people. Yeah. Uh, very nice here. Okay, guys, so we found our excursion and we're already in the car waiting for our trip. So the drive will be long, yeah. but stay tuned. Yeah, and as we were saying, all the instruction led us directly to the people. Plus, everybody in the poor area and everything was very nice, giving us direction, helping us out, mm -hmm. asking what you need, but not rushing. Everybody was selling, but nothing like putting pressure or anything. So it was very nice. And when we came over here, the reservation was already, you know, everything on point. And uh, I mean, so far, so good. So we're in the Cachaban Ruins. Yes, guys, we already came over here. And this is the first thing that we're gonna be doing right here on this port in Mexico, guys. This is mainland. It was about an hour to come over here from the port, right, baby? Yeah, guys, this was about an hour, but we've been looking through the Slow. window, learning a few things. So time passed quickly. It's rained. The Elsa gave us some umbrellas, and yep. the excursion Elsa will give us some water, so we we'll definitely have everything. Yeah, for sure. It has been very great. I mean, we're coming over here. We touch bases a little bit on the Mayan culture mm -hmm. in the villages around the area. Now we're approaching, you know, the meeting point to continue to the Cachoven ruins. And uh, we're going to show you some of the things that are around here, guys. But so far, 
beside the rain, and it seems like it's cleared up a little bit, right, baby? So Definitely, it's guys. Be good. So I think first it will get better. Guys, so we're here in through the jungles, through the winds. Yes, guys. We're coming through. This is the passage we're walking in. So far, everything's super organized, super nice. Baby, I'm very happy with this excursion so far. Oh, yeah, and we too. I mean, me too. And actually, they provide water outside and I think some tacos, right? Yeah, then later, after we get out of here, we're gonna go to Yeah, eat. before we go to the lagoon, we're gonna the... eat something. Yeah, so definitely, it's nice, guys. So, you know, there's different things to do here in Costa Maya, but we, we're loving it because we're learning so much about the culture itself. So, I think it's gonna be a fun time for sure. Guys, we're here in Chepchobian ruins. Yes, guys, this is definitely history right here. You know, the, the Mayan community is so old, so big. It's crazy just to think about it. Oh, yeah. Sure. Let me touch that. I want to touch that. Guys, it's really exciting how old is this um, ruins is like crazy it's so crazy to think about it the craziest stuff though you can see how everything is just built just rocks you can as you get closer to details you can realize how everything is just on rock on top of rock and we remember this is years hundreds of years back in civilization so this was hand made all of these guys so it is crazy just to think about it for sure for sure, guys. Which means red, the color. Jo, which means red. Ben, which means place. Chak Jo Ben can be translated as the place of the red rat. Okay? So Chak Jo Ben is not the original name of this place. When archaeologists were doing the excavations here, they never find something that says the name of this place. So they name it after the closest village, in this case, Chakchoben village. That's the reason why we have the same name as the village, okay? This is definitely a treasure of the yeah. Mexican culture, guys, for sure. For sure. Worth, worth traveling here, worth to discover. Definitely, guys. It's but gonna we're not going to show you so much, just so you can come here and come enjoy this. More, you know? Come enjoy this. It's yeah, totally so worth it. Mosquitoes here is not a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke, guys. I mean, we actually brought something for the mosquito because we're in the middle we of the jungle. In the car. Yeah, we left it in the car because we left our stuff there, which was a good idea as well because coming over here so heavy when you gotta do all the walking, mm -hmm. it's complicated. But mosquitoes are not playing games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? they they're, want, they're hungry. Yeah, and they recommend everybody for the excursion to come they with want long sleeves. Dominican and Russian Oh yeah, for sure, guys. But uh, they always recommend the people to come with long sleeve yeah. and long pants and they actually you can see the guides and the people that are working here yeah that's, that's how they dress but it's so hot guys how can it, is, it is so hot but, but it makes it sense yeah. <laughs> maybe how so so far being the experience it's like so inspirational it's really interesting guys so the one excursion we have we kind of have uh, ruins and lagoon yep. but if you want to see all the ruins it's separate tour which is more hours and you spend it only here which is I like. We saw some ruins. We're gonna go explore the Seven uh, Colors Lagoon, which is something nice because it's just one day in port, and we definitely want to see more. And that's the um, thing, exactly, because you only a few hours in the port. Of course, you have to be back at the ship a certain time, so yeah. you only have technically like an hour to explore over here when mm -hmm. you come in a cruise ship like we did. So just make sure that you choose your excursion wisely because, I mean, of course, who would like to see more? But we had to go back to the, to the Definitely port guys, well. But I think today excursion, with short excursions, is a great been experience, yeah. great experience. It's been amazing, you know, the guy, she's the very guys knowledgeable. Yeah, she's very knowledgeable. The car was good, you know, they everything. They gave us some bread for it. They gave us water, yeah. they will give us food, they will take us, everything was so nice. So yeah, they gave us water, the food is gonna be covered for them as well. Plus all the drinks as well, they're gonna come with the food. We're going now to the Seven Colors Lagoon. Yes, guys, I can tell you how exciting it's been the trip so far. And guys, guess what? I love Mexico. Mexico, we know, not just the food, it's the history. It's the history, the people, the cultural vibe. 
is a lot. Mexico, definitely. definitely. I mean, every country has its their story, but Mexicans definitely have, have a, a treasure. Lot. You yeah. know, as far as culture, have a treasure, and uh, this is amazing. We live in Paro, for sure. Okay, guys, we are back in the van right now. It feels a little better right yeah. here, right? It, it was so hot outside. Like, it was Yeah, we're sweating and everything, guys. It's been very hot, but guys. Amazing experience. Definitely. Super amazing. I'm in love with that. It yeah. was so interesting. We learned a mm -hmm. lot. It's definitely. a lot. Yeah, we, yeah, we hope you're enjoying as much as we are. Uh, this experience definitely has been, you know, it taught you because mm -hmm. uh, it, it takes you back so many years ago and how different civilizations used to do things, right? And you look back in the days, you can compare to how we live and how much things has changed. Definitely, it, it's just incredible to think how things change. Okay guys, we just had our amazing taco and we're ready. Yes guys, we're ready for some fun. We had some taco right here. It was a little spicy, that last kick, right? Definitely guys. Sure. And actually in our yeah. excursion included a kayak. So maybe we're gonna do that, I'm not sure. We'll yeah, check. we want, when we come over here, we have ready tacos ready guys. We have drinks ready as well. We have an open bar. We have this beautiful lagoon right here that we're gonna enjoy just in a minute. We'll get Maria to get one of those kayaks, right guys? Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe, I'm honestly very excited. We took this excursion. I enjoy the places we visited information we learned so far everything was so good yeah we are very happy with this excursion guy we learned so much in the morning it was such a cultural shot for us definitely it was amazing and now this place is a paradise i mean we came we already ate we already had some drinks we have an open bar yeah Maybe. pretty much with this excursion we had everything we needed yeah so guys make sure if you want to book something like this you go to short excursions.com you go to extreme cachauvin ruins tour guys and you're gonna love every single minute of it we're loving it right now definitely guys Anyway guys, so right here, we are on the Seven Colors Lagoon. Actually, you know, uh, we don't have a drone that we can show you from the top how beautiful nice is this place. It's very yeah, guys, beautiful. And the weather today kind yeah. of not perfect. It's not so the best. Probably the colors, not the same too. They're playing a little bit with the color of the water too, but uh, this place is amazing. It's, it's very nice. The water was very calm when we came over here, right baby? Yeah. It was very sunny and yep. beautiful. But, but we're enjoying, sorry. I mean, we're here and we're gonna enjoy all of this, guys. We're gonna make it work somehow. Definitely, guys. Okay, guys, so we kind of finished with the Seven Colors Lagoon and yep. we're about to move towards the port. Yeah, guys, you saw the weather got a little bit crazy, but that didn't stop us from going in there and enjoying mm -hmm. this beautiful water and everything. It was very nice. And guys, guess what? Yep. It's already sunny. Yeah, it's sunny, yeah, right at the time that we're supposed to leave, right? <laughs> Just remember, our excursion today was divided into different stops, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So we started in the port of Costa Maya. You remember when we came to the with the MSC uh, port, MSC Magnifica, mm -hmm. and then after that, we went and meet our drivers, maybe. Yes, yes, and after that, we uh, visited some of the Maya ruins. We had uh, opportunity to try some Mexican tacos with some drinks, and yeah. now we're in Seven Colors Lagoon. Yeah, I would say if you're doing something like that, just remember they do it very early because you're gonna take about one hour drive mm -hmm from the port all the way to the Mayan ruins first, you know, mm -hmm. then you're gonna have to explore there for a little bit. There's more people with you as well. Then time to go back to the lagoons and then there's an hour back to the ship again. So that's why they do it kind of earlier because we have to go back to the cruise, right? And they, their responsibility, you know, is to, to make sure we are back. To deliver on time. guys we are back again back to the port yes our discussion was it was amazing you oh, saw the guys, definitely. we've been enjoying it yeah. was 
We saw the footage. I mean, the people that was with us, the driver, the guides, guy, they did a great job. They did yeah. a great job. You know, uh, the company that was helping chore excursions to do uh, this excursion for us was uh, Native Excursions. Mm -hmm. And um, I will say, guys, I would they, say ne yeah. if next time we're going to visit um, Costa Maya, yeah. I will definitely uh, book directly, honestly, with them. They definitely. They did a great job. Like, mm -hmm. We we felt like you, you know, feel safe. Very good. You it was, feel amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. You visit in different places. They explain you everything very well. They uh, provide drinks. They provide food. Um, umbrellas if there is a rain. Like yeah. they giving you everything you need. It was literally everything you needed was provided from the beginning and the safety, which it was. You know, it's always one of the concerns yeah. when you just come to another country and you don't know exactly what to expect. Actually, they were there every single uh, minute of the road. Guys, we, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, it Definitely. was, it was great.